right there, I'm gonna try to explain to you what the difference is between taking the ball on the rise and taking the ball on the low. So first thing first, have to learn how to visualize the ball rising. When the ball is coming into your side of the court, it's gonna bounce and it's gonna come up and it's gonna reach a high point. That's taking the ball on the rise on the high point. So visualize the ball bouncing once again, let it rise up, and typically you're gonna be catching that ball nice and high and moving forward by taking the ball on the rise. If you don't wanna take the ball on the rise, you're gonna purposely let the ball rise and fall some, and then you are gonna be hitting the ball low to high. And this particular shot is best to do a, a high top spin, for example, if you're trying to generate a high top spin. You wanna let the ball drop a little bit and it's more comfortable. So the difference, once again, ball on the rise, when the ball reaches a peak after the bounce, and ball on the low after the peak when the ball begins dropping and you can let it drop as much as you like so that you can lift it back up i hope you understand the difference between the two of them and i hope you can visualize them before you get back on the tennis courts again have a nice day